you guys. Look at this. It's so awesome. Hey, what's up everyone? Hugo Mendes here and welcome back to the Chaskis channel. The best place to learn how to get ready for the Dirty Kansas, especially if you're a new gravel cyclist like me who's training to complete the Dirty Kansas for the first time. On this week's video, I talk about how to wash and take care of your favorite and precious cycling kit. Because cycling kits, yeah, are important. And stick around to the end to learn more about an amazing guide that I made about the Dirty Kansas just for you. But before we talk about this week's video, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to click on that red subscribe button and also hit that bell to be notified the next time that I release new videos. And if you're not following Chesky's on Instagram, what are you waiting for? Just go there, look for at Chesky up, send me a DM, let me know what you think about these videos. I would love to hear from you. Okay, let's picture this. You're back from that long bike ride. You're really tired. You want to eat the whole refrigerator. You take off your cycling kit, you leave your wet, stinky or muddy kit on the floor or in the laundry basket, right? Is this you? Because I've been there so many times. Don't do this. Don't do this at all. Unless you're a professional cyclist, you probably don't have endless cycling kits, right? Maybe you're like me who has one cycling kit for the summer, one cycling kit for the winter, or maybe just one. Actually, I just got this new kit. The material is so nice. It fits really, really well. I love it. When I look at the kit, I'm like, hey dude, you are not cheap. I pay a lot of money for you. It's not only the jersey, it's the bib short and the gloves and the base layer and more. Cycling kits are expensive because they are made with really light materials. Materials that protect you from the sun, the wind, the rain, so yeah. They're not cheap. Taking care of your kit will make sure that you look good in it, that it fits you well, instead of wearing an old and beat up kit like this one, yuck. So here's some advice and simple tips on how to make sure that your cycling kit is clean, works well, and has a longer lifespan. Don't leave your kit on the floor, please. Don't leave it in the basket especially if it's wet or muddy. Why? Because you don't want bacteria to grow and multiply like. If your kit is covered in mud, go straight to the shower to avoid dispersing mud all over the house. Try to wash your kit right away. If you can or don't because of practical or environmental reasons, that's okay. Just make sure that at least you air it out so it dries out. Also, if your kit is muddy, well, first rinse it in cold water in the sink until it gets clean. It will also help for any color section of your kit from becoming mud stained. If you don't have a washing machine or on vacation or a hotel, that's fine. Just wash your kit in the sink, wash it by hand, just using shampoo or shower gel. And if you have a bar soap, make soapy water first. Try and avoid rubbing the bar directly with the kit because it is abrasive. For water temperature, think about 86 degrees, which is about the temperature in your swimming pool. If your kit is pretty dirty, give it a little rinse first before putting it in the machine. That's mainly just to save your washing machine. You don't want the mud to stain your other clothes, right? If you have some grease stains on your kit, well first use a mild degreaser, apply a little bit on it, and then put it back in the washer. A couple things that you need to do before you start washing your kit is one, close all the zippers, and two, close all the Velcro sections. You don't want the zippers and the Velcro to scratch the lycra of your kit when they're all tumbling around in the washing machine. Also, don't forget to turn inside out your jersey and your bib shorts. Why? Because you wanna protect any logos that you have. And also you wanna be sure that the part that's been in contact with your skin gets super clean. Also try to wash your kit together without any other clothes, any other material. Why? Because if you use other clothes like this hoodie, for instance, that has a very thick material, this can actually damage the fabric of your lycra. The same thing if you wash it with a pair of navy jeans, you wash them together, your light color jersey might come out gray or a different color. 
we're gonna use a mild detergent and also avoid detergents that promise bolder colors or wider whites because they can be too harsh for your kid. We don't want that. And the fabric softener that we use all the time, well, avoid using it this time because it can actually damage several properties of your kit, such as the water repellent treatment, breathability, and more. Before you get started, think two things. One, pick a gentle cycle option, and two, avoid hot temperatures. You wanna to stick to a temperature that is around 86 Fahrenheit degrees. Ideally, you don't want to use a dryer. You wanna hang dry your kit for longevity and also away from direct heat. And also, if you're hand washing your kit, do not wring your clothes. This is gonna avoid tearing the stitches and also damaging the membranes. Using a dryer is not going to destroy your jersey or your bib shirt right away, but remember, that's going to shorten the lifespan of your kit. Also, remember not using really hot temperatures and please avoid going to your local or commercial laundromat because they tend to use temperatures that are super hot. So avoid laundromats. If you're going to hand wash your bib shirt, make sure that you spend some time washing, cleaning, and scrubbing your chamois. This part is very important because it's been exposed to your skin, it could potentially build out bacteria, so you just wanna make sure that you clean all this up. This is something that I learned from Don Powell, the owner of Panache, the company that's making our cycling kits. He said that your jerseys and other pieces of gear are gonna last for several years, most likely. The bib shorts, however, they have a lifespan. Think of your new bib shorts as if they were a new pair of running shoes. You buy them, they come with a nice amount of cushioning and support, but the more you wear them in training or racing, the more they break down and you're gonna have to replace them eventually, right? The same thing with your bib shorts. Bib shorts, because they're made of this padding, this padding, the more you wear it when training or racing, the more it will break down. The same thing with Lycra, a component of the bib shorts, they have a lifespan as well. Okay, I have something that you're gonna love, especially if you're thinking about doing the Dirty Kansa sometime in the future. All this research that I've done and that I'm still doing, and I'm not just talking about training, but like lodging, logistics, mental preparation, race strategy and more. Well, I've compiled all of this in a guide that I wanna make available to you for free. So just go to the comments below, the first comment, click on that link, download it, check it out and let me know what you think. Now I wanna know from you, do you take good care of your cycling kit? Is there any tip or piece of advice that you found especially interesting? Or is there something that you do that works well for you that maybe I'm missing? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a like, click on that red subscribe button, share it with a friend. And also if you're not following Chesky's on Instagram, just go there and look for at Chesky Up. As always, thank you very much for watching. It's time to Chesky Up.